I remember happy times. I remember happy moments. I remember happy situations. I remember happy happenstances. But I'm talking about ongoing happiness. And this is what I want to talk to you about. Have you guys experienced happiness? And then I got deeper. I mean, I was literally talking to God and I was saying, God, why is it that just like an orgasm? Can I get a little adult there? Happiness is an experience that literally, no pun intended, comes and goes. Oh, man. It comes and goes like a wave, brothers and sisters. And I'm like, why is it? That people just can't find that moment in their lives that happiness continually happens over and over and over again. I believe, brothers and sisters, that the reason why happiness comes in waves and sometimes just generally by happenstance is because God does not want us to get comfortable in this life, in this world. And if we are too comfortable loving this world by way of complete happiness, then why would we even want to go to heaven? I think of Paul. And even though Paul did a lot of work for the Lord and he put in work for sure, he still had a thorn in his side, which was very humbling. So I was just thinking, I'm I'm like, God does things specifically so that we don't get to a place in this world where we literally feel like we don't need God. You see, even though Paul was doing his thing, you know, and living for the Lord after God had to literally blind him, his eyes were then after opening. But if you want to be happy, I believe, is when you are literally trying your very best. Sounds corny and cliche. But it's only when you are put in a position where you are literally, here it goes, you ready? Putting yourself last. And doing for others. That's when you get the joy. That's when you feel. Why? Because it has nothing to do with your glory. You're pushed to the side. It's always promoting the blessings and the benefit of someone else. You want to see someone else shine. You want to see someone else rise. You want to see someone else grow. And in that blessed giving, in that blessing selfishness, if that's a word, you are truly getting a glimpse of that momentum in terms of being happy. You're gaining momentum. You're getting it now. You're getting the formula. But if you're out there chasing happiness, hear me really good today. If you're chasing it by buying a bag, if you're chasing it by buying cars and houses and five-minute orgasms, if if you're using your money to chase that, it is going to be very short-lived. Jesus Christ was on the cross. He took your sins. He took my sins. He took all of the sins upon him. He was a curse for us, but yet he did not sin. Check this out good. The joy, the peace, the happiness was ongoing. It was at a point where that joy mm -mm -mm, and what he had to go through, he had to see far past that moment. He had to see far past that circumstance. He had to literally think about the future and the mission. And why he had to do what he had to do for you and for me. You see, when you think past the circumstance, right? When you think that this is actually an assignment that God put you here for. Listen, you may may downright be going through the mud right now. Listen, I don't know your circumstance. 
But I'm telling you the truth. As long as you have breath, God is using you for a specific purpose. So don't give up. Don't give out. God will use you where you are for someone else. Listen, your testimony and all the hell you're going through right now can be an encouragement, a motivation, a blessing for someone else. So you hold on and you think about the fact that, yeah, it's nice to be happy. But when the joy of the Lord gives you strength, (laughs) that's when you have ultimate happiness. That's when you have ultimate peace. Because when God gives you something, right? No man in hell could take it away. It's supernatural. It's spiritual. It's not carnal. It's not of this world. Listen, your breakthrough in your happiness is contingent upon you doing for others and letting go. Sometimes Sometimes you got to let that that butterfly butterfly fly, fly, brothers brothers and sisters. sisters. I remember years ago, kids would put butterflies and fireflies inside jars. They were not meant to be put in jars. They were meant to fly. Butterflies were not meant to be put in jars. Mankind puts it in jars. Why? Because they're trying to capture a bit of happiness. But it's not until you see that butterfly fly that you see that full potential. Yeah, it may be short-lived. But they got to do what they got to do. That butterfly needs to fly. That butterfly has to live their full potential. I'm talking to somebody out there. You got to let people around you fly. You got to let people around you grow. Huh? And if that means in order for them to live their full potential, sometimes they have to stand on your shoulders and fly. And sometimes you have to be willing, brothers and sisters, to let them stand on your shoulders. There's far too many people, like crabs in a barrel, pulling each other down, disrespecting each other, hating on each other. This is the theme. Listen, this is the theme of society today. And you wonder why people are so unhappy. You wonder why people are so miserable living a fake Instagram life. You're phony. You're lying. It's hypocrisy. Why do they constantly want to show a fake life? Because if they show, oh man, if they show you a glimpse of that butterfly and that firefly inside of that jar, they feel they can contain and maintain a form of happiness. That's what Instagram is. It's butterflies and fireflies in a jar. And as long as they can encapsulate that form, think about it. You ever see on Instagram, mostly sad or bad pictures. You ever see people taking depressive, sad and bad pictures? No, mostly people who want to capture things or capture a degree of happiness, right? It's usually people smiling or it's happy times or happy moments. You hardly ever see the realness and the crux of what people are going through. Why don't they want to put that there? Listen, if this, if the majority of the world is contending with the spirit of depression or with the spirit of loneliness and this and that, okay. And, and, and most of it has to do with the fact that they don't have God in their lives. See, once you have God in your life, this world and the trinkets in it don't phase you. I admire people who uh, just take the basics, man, because then you really get to conversate. <laughs> you know, it's not that 60 inch TV that's entertaining you anymore. You know, you got to get to the rawness and the realness of who people are. And I believe it only comes from when you really take all the trinkets and the toys and this and that and the status away. But the majority of the people, brothers and sisters, want to hide behind the firefly jar. They want to hide behind the jar. And the jar is the matrix. 
Instagram, Facebook, sometimes YouTube, whatever it is, social media, whatever they try to put in there and make you look at and believe this is their life. When in reality, a lot of times when those butterflies and flyflies go in that jar, do you really think that they're happy? Oh, man. Okay. Do you really think that those fireflies and butterflies want to be in that jar? They need to fly. They need to get real. They need to know what it is to be pooped on by a bird. They need to know what it is huh, to be struck by lightning. They need to know what it is in life to be uncomfortable. You need to get uncomfortable sometimes, brothers and sisters. You need to adapt to being uncomfortable. You need to go where no man has gone before. You need to really face your fears. You need to really step out of this happiness psychosis. And when you find that your true peace and true happiness is in your time, your talents, your advice, your giving, and your charity work, whatever that may be. That's what makes, listen, because I was thinking, I'm like, when was I really 100% truly happy? I can't think of a time, brothers and sisters. I cannot think of a time. Obviously, I was happy before. No, 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 let's not get it twisted. Okay. I was happy before, of course. We all were happy at times. I, the happiness that I'm talking about, though, is continual peace, happy, joy. We're not going to attain that. That's why there's so many people out there ready to check out. Because they're chasing a dream. They're chasing a dream. Am I pessimistic right now? No, I'm realistic. I'm realistic. Because the happiness that you're looking for and the happiness that God's talking about and the joy that God's talking about and the pieces God's talking about is not the same as what the world can give you. Because this world's happiness is like, like I said, an orgasm. An orgasm, you be happy, and then it's over. And then what do you do? Chasing the next orgasm. We were not designed to be happy long-term in this world. And as long as you realize that, the happier you are, brothers and sisters, the happier you are. And you get to appreciate the spurks and the sparks that, sh- that come up from time to time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, I can be in the most fanciest, awesome place in the world. I could be loaded with money. I could be with my husband, who I love so dearly. Okay? Kids doing great, whatever the case is. Right? Everything blessed. Right? But in the back of my mind, there's someone else out there that's starving. There's someone else out there that just got raped. There's some other child out there that just got abused. There's someone else that just got shot. So how in the heck having that in my mind makes me completely happy? It's impossible. It's impossible. That's why when we get to heaven, Lord willing, We are not going to have no recollection of the people. Huh? Listen, 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 listen. Of the people and the circumstances here on earth. In other words, if they didn't make it, if if Uncle Earl went to hell, that's, that's it for Uncle Earl. He's erased from your memory. That's what I believe. And the reason why I say that, Is because we're going to be in heaven. There's no crying. There's no tears. It's complete joy, peace, happiness continually. 